Exactly. They look so beautiful, don't they? They do. Hissing sea. You probably say it's just misunderstood. Now, one <laughs> of the most scenic stretches of our region's coastline has made it into a national top ten list of the best views in Britain. Holcombe Beach in North Norfolk came sixth in a poll of a thousand people by the car company Chevrolet. Two locations in the Lake District top the list, with Stonehenge one place above Holcombe. Now, I reckon there'll be a few of you sitting at home thinking, where I live is just as beautiful. Well, now's your chance to tell us about it. Indeed, ITV's Countrywise team are looking for 12 of the most beautiful places in Britain, as suggested by you, the ITV viewers. They are particularly interested in any hidden treasures that you wouldn't mind the rest of us finding out about, of course. And uh, here's how you can get in touch. You can email your suggestions or photos to Jonathan and Becky at itv.com. You can go to our Facebook page as well, facebook.com forward slash ITV Anglia, or do tweet us as well at ITV Anglia. Let's have some sport now. And after, un after unprecedented success in the first round of the Carling Cup, all our region's teams play in round two tonight. Yep, four of them face Premier League opposition and all bar two are away from home. One of those two is MK Dons, who welcome Premier League new boys Blackpool to Stadium MK. And that's where Donny Blake is for us tonight. Donovan, a big night for all our teams then. Yes, uh, of course, the league is the bread and butter for our league clubs, but they all recognise the value of a decent cup run. And six of them could become headline makers in the Carling Cup this evening by beating sides higher in the divisions. Four of them, as you say, against Premier League opposition, including the MK Dons. They have the luxury of a home draw against Blackpool, while Norwich, Colchester and Southend all seek glory on the road. For the fans of Colchester, Norwich and Southend, the excitement of travelling to some of the best grounds in the country, with the hope of their team becoming giant killers. Colchester head to the northeast to face Sunderland. It's the northwest for Norwich, who play Blackburn, while Southend head to the Midlands to take on Wolves. All Premier League destinations. Question is, will these clubs, Blackburn for instance, Norwich's opponents, be fielding teams of Premier League strength for these Carling Cup ties? Well, it's not an issue for the region's managers who face them. The fact they're up against top-flight opposition is significant enough. Like I said last year, if you're in it, you may as well go and try and win it. I mean, that's what we'll try and do. But as I said, we'll have a lot of people come up to watch us and we'll do everything we can to get through the tie. Just don't want to go up there and just for a game of football, we'll go and try and win it. I'm excited to get a premiership team here and, and we're going to have a right go at them. Don't, don't think as a premiership team, we're going to sit back and let them have all the possession. We've got some good players here, so we're going to take the game by the scruff of the throat and we're going to have a real good go at them. The same feeling is shared by Northampton boss Ian Sampson and Peterborough manager Gary Johnson, even though they play teams from the Championship. Past are up against Cardiff, where the hype over their Premier League recruit Craig Bellamy still hasn't died down. The Cobblers visit Reading. While it's the reverse scenario for unbeaten Ipswich at League Two Crewe. All the pressure on Roy Keane's team, especially with Crew winning 7-0 in their last game. Every cup game I've been involved in, away from home, even the last one. Gone to extra time, Shrewsbury extra time. We've had to roll our sleeves up and, and grind out results. It'll be very tough for us, but I guarantee it'll be tough for Crew. Simple as that. Now we wait to see how many of our clubs remain on the Carling Cup journey after tonight's games. Well, as well as those cup ties, there's a full programme of games in the Blue Square Bet Premier Division, including Histon's first under their new manager. He's Dave Livermore, who's played for Millwall, Barnett, Brighton, and also helped Hull win promotion to the Premier League three seasons ago. He takes charge of his first game against Eastbourne Borough after replacing John Beck, who left by mutual consent last week. Unless we forget, it's still the cricket season, but time is running out for Northamptonshire and Essex if they're to remain in the top division of the county championship. Essex have two games left to avoid relegation from the first division. They're second from bottom ahead of their game with Warwickshire, which starts tomorrow. Uh, bottom two go down, top two go up from division two. So Northamptonshire in desperate need of a win for, to preserve their chances of going up. They play Worcestershire tomorrow. Well, this could be a World Cup venue in 2018. Fingers crossed, MK Don fans are hoping they could be a Carling Cup giant killing here this evening. That's Let's great. hope so, Donny. Thank you very much indeed for that one.
keeping your fingers crossed there, aren't you? It certainly doesn't feel like cricketing weather. Right, let's uh, get back and stay with that footballing theme, shall we? After England's poor performance in the World Cup, one criticism of the team was that the players are spoiled and overpaid. You've heard it enough, haven't you? But that's certainly not something you could say about 20-year-old Musa Kamara from Cambridge. Mm, Musa is homeless, but in September he'll be captaining the England team at the Homeless World Cup in Brazil. Stuart Leith has this report. He's homeless and living in a YMCA hostel in Cambridge, but 20-year-old Musa Kamara has been given the chance to pursue his footballing dreams. He'll be captaining the England team, playing in the 2010 Homeless World Cup in Brazil. Got in through from the trials from like over 500 people in the trials, so like to get into the England squad in the last eight players oh, is probably the greatest feeling I ever had. And I hope from there I can keep on like, doing what I'm doing and trying to achieve something in my life. The eighth annual Homeless World Cup takes place in Rio next month. It aims to offer people the chance to improve their lives through football. And it's a far cry from the tough life Musa had as a teenager. I was living in London with my parents, but kind of, I'll kind of get involved with gangs and uh, violence or friends and that. So I kind of bad behaviour. So I got moved out from my parents' house. Then I moved out to my brother in, in Cambridge here. Then when I came down in Cambridge, because he was living by himself, he had uh, just one flat bedroom and that. So I was kind of like staying on the floor. So from there, uh, I went down to Connection and they kind of like, referred me to the YMCA. Musa hopes he can follow in the footsteps of the Portuguese player Bebe, who played for Portugal's homeless team and recently signed for Manchester United for £7.4 million. Pounds. It means the world to them. Uh, we have 80 young people who live here and there's a lot of talent within this building. Um, what, what Musa's done is, Musa has been given the opportunity, but he's taken the opportunity himself. He's worked very hard. Musa then will be hoping to bring the cup home when he takes his skills from the street onto the world stage. Stuart Leith, Anglia News, Cambridge. Very He's certainly cool. got the skill, hasn't he? Let's he hope has. he gets the contract. Right, let's take a look at what's in the rest of the news hour in a couple of minutes from now. Oh, it's probably brought on by the weather down there as well, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well, we heard earlier from Amanda we thought it was going to be raining again over the next 24 hours. Let's see if she's right. Well, whatever the weather, enjoy the rest of your evening, whatever you're up to. And thanks very much for watching this evening. We'll see you tomorrow night then. All bye the bye. best. Bye-bye.